Well, friends, Donald Trump's longtime chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, just pleaded guilty again, this time for lying at Donald Trump's New York fraud trial. And Alan Weisselberg is headed back to prison. What is it that Donald Trump always says? Only the best people? Really? Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. Well friends, Donald Trump's right-hand man at the Trump Organization for decades, his chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, is headed back to prison, back to Rikers Island for a second stretch. Recall his first period of incarceration came after he pleaded guilty to a 15-year-long criminal scheme to defraud in the first degree as the chief financial officer at the Trump Organization. How did Alan Weisselberg follow that up? Well, once he got out, he took the stand as a witness in Donald Trump's civil fraud trial, and he lied. He lied to try to help out his old boss. Let's start with the new reporting from the Washington Post headline, Longtime Trump executive pleads guilty again this time to perjury charges. And that article begins, Alan Weisselberg, the former longtime top financial officer of Donald Trump's company, pleaded guilty Monday to perjury, admitting that he lied under oath to the New York Attorney General's office while it was investigating the former president. The plea added to the web of Trump-related legal and financial peril that Weisselberg has faced in recent years a period that saw him plead guilty to multiple felonies in a different case, serve months behind bars as a result, and then face stiff sanctions, including a $1 million penalty following a separate civil fraud trial. The developments Monday came through an agreement with the office of Alvin Bragg, the Manhattan District Attorney. The plea also marked the latest legal loss suffered by Trump or someone in his orbit this time only three weeks before Bragg's office is set to prosecute Trump in a separate criminal case. So friends, what are some of the other details surrounding Alan Weisselberg's latest felony convictions? Well, first of all, like any good mob member, you know, underboss, capo, lieutenant, wise guy, or a crooked accountant, Alan Weisselberg has refused to cooperate with the authorities against the mob boss, the Don, the big fish, in this case the big orange blowfish, Donald Trump. Also he pleaded guilty to two counts of lying, of perjury, and he'll serve five months in prison and he'll then be put on probation. And the reporting is that if he violates any of the conditions of his probation, he'll be facing up to another seven years in prison. Stay tuned for that. And friends, this development reminds me of something that has bothered me ever since the Trump Organization was criminally convicted. Recall that District Attorney Alvin Bragg had the grand jury indict the Trump Organization brought criminal charges against the Trump Organization for being involved in a 15-year-long criminal scheme to defraud in the first degree. The Trump Organization was being run as a corrupt business, a corrupt company. Alan Weisselberg pleaded guilty in connection with that investigation and prosecution of the Trump Organization to the same 15-year-long criminal scheme to defraud in the first degree. So the Trump Organization was being run as a criminal business. The basically number two man, Donald Trump's right-hand man, the chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, was involved in the same 15-year-long criminal scheme to defraud 
as part of the Trump Organization. But Donald Trump has never been indicted. That, to me, friends, feels like, um, let's call it a loose end. The business that bears his name, the Trump Organization, and the chief financial officer that served him, Donald Trump, for decades, have both been criminally convicted, but Donald Trump thus far has been untouched? I mean, do we think he was not part and parcel complicit in the same 15-year-long criminal scheme to defraud? So as I say, that feels like a loose end to me, and I am hopeful that once Alvin Bragg completes his criminal trial of Donald Trump, which is scheduled to begin just a few weeks from now, March 25th, remember that is the 2016 election interference case where Donald Trump paid hush money to playmates and porn stars to bury deeply damaging information about his suitability or unsuitability to be president, and then committed 34 crimes, felony crimes, falsifying business records to cover up the nature of those hush money payments. That's how he interfered in the 2016 election. That was the first case he was indicted in. It's now the first case going to trial in just a few weeks, and the evidence is strong. After Alvin Bragg is done prosecuting Donald Trump for those crimes, I sure hope he has another indictment waiting for Donald Trump, that loose end, so that Donald Trump is also held to account for being part and parcel of the same 15-year-long criminal scheme to defraud that his organization was convicted of and that his chief financial officer was convicted of. It, there will come a time when Donald Trump has to be held accountable for those crimes as well. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.